December is showtime for Canada Post. Starting now, it gets busier every single day. With its 60,000 employees delivering over a half a million packages of mail on Christmas Eve alone. And today, the Mercer Report pitches in and lends a hand. Yes, I'm going postal. And now I'm joined by Dean Ryan. Hello, Dean. How are you? Pleased to meet you. Nice to see you, sir. How many people work here? Uh, just under 600. And how many pieces of mail come through? We handle just under 2 million pieces a day. And you're an analyst whose job it is to make everything more efficient? Yes. And you think it's a good idea that I'm here? Uh, we, we've got our work cut out for us tonight. Because the mail's got to get through. It will get through. It will. It will. That's going to Afghanistan. This will actually go for free. Yes. We're shipping all the parcels to our uh, troops that are deployed over in Afghanistan for free. It's got chocolate in it. <laughs> what's the weirdest thing you've gotten in the mail or you've seen in the, in the bin? Seriously speaking? Yeah, what's the weirdest thing you've seen? An urn. An urn? No kidding. So it had human remains in it, probably. Same day delivery? Although I guess there's no rush, really. Yeah, really. Okay, we're standing here next to a giant climbing wall of letters. Look at that. What is that thing? That's a dicky beater. A, a dicky beater. <laughs> a dicky that means beater. something entirely different in Newfoundland. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking for one of those envelopes with, you know, $100,000. That Brian Mulrooney gets. Have you ever Mulrooney. seen that? No, if it says Mulrooney, there's a chance there's 100000 <laughs> And now all the letters to Santa, of course, come here, don't they? That's right. Everything for the North Pole comes in and uh, we deliver it up to the North Pole. Of course, because the North Pole has a postal code. H-O-H-O-H-O. And everyone knows the North Pole is in Canada. And does Santa answer the letters that are sent to Ho Ho Ho? Every letter gets answered and there's certainly some assistance from Canada Post. Really? You get paid a lot to do that? No, it's all volunteer. Everyone does it for free. This is such a feel-good piece. It is. How many languages does Santa respond in? 26 languages, including Braille. Braille? Yes. Now I'm going to cry. Aren't you curious? I'm really curious. About what? What's in the letters? No, I just don't think about it so much anymore. <laughs> I've seen for the second time since I've been here a letter with like actual lipstick on it. I didn't think people did that anymore. Like oh, sure, girl. I do that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the third one I've seen in two years. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> Jack Layton sends a lot of mail. Does he? He sends a lot of See, mail. See, I wouldn't think he'd want to kill that many trees. I'm, I'm, he's probably, he probably mails the most amount of mail. Has Stéphane Dion ever got a letter? Stéphane Dion. I don't remember seeing a letter to him, no. <laughs> now you have this, um, this stamp program now. If you provide us with a picture, uh -huh. uh, we'll put it on a stamp, a permanent stamp that's uh, good for uh, uh, letter mail anywhere in Canada. Will that work? Your mother will love it. Okay, we're a little further in the bowels of Canada Post headquarters, away from the machines, and this is where the actual letter carriers, the old-fashioned letter carriers, live and work. And I'm looking for Matt. And this is Matt. Hello, Matt. How are you? Hey, Rick. How's nice it going? to see you. Every street is set up in alphabetical order and mm -hmm. then in numerical order. I love order. the fact that everyone in Canada has a slot. It makes them real. You must know a lot about the people in your neighborhood. What do you know about this guy? Th this one, I don't know anything about him. He just moved in. Oh, did He's he? He's a musician, actually. That's about all I know. You see, that's so bizarre. You know so much about these people. They have a beautiful big home looking over the canal. Very nice. nice. Lots of kids. Uh, diplomats. Oh. Football coach. They're just uh, renovating their house right now. Are they? Yes, it's taking forever. <laughs> no one is going to subscribe <laughs> to an adult magazine after seeing this piece. Well, that's what the post office boxes are for. Now I'm ready. <laughs> so how many kilometers a day will you walk? Uh, any of the routes can range from 10 to 15 kilometers. You walk 15K a day? And over 2,000 stairs. Good Lord. Well, this guy's going to be really happy. A flyer from a local politician well, and a letter from Revenue Canada. Some mail is better than no mail at all. Uh, 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 no, we're not allowed to walk across the lawn, Rick. We gotta go around here. You don't walk across the lawn. No, sir. That's very conscientious of you. It is. Well, that's why they shovel these driveways for us, you see? Do you like my saddlebags? Very nice. Do they make my hips look big? So we just put the mail in there? Just like that. That's it. That's it. Talk about the dogs for a second, because that's not, that's not a laughing matter, is it? No. We always make, you know, people think letter carriers being chased, but have you ever been bit by a dog? A few times, yes. How many times? Seven. 
seven times yeah. as part of your job. That's right. If a dog comes to this door, it's getting the boot. So you're going first. Okay. <laughs> nice puppy. Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Here you go. Oh. Oh. Does that drive you nuts when someone has a mailbox like that just sitting there? Well, at least I have a mailbox. It would be you're nice. Very <laughs> easy going. <laughs> You're, do you have any, do you complain about anything? You just walk if around all day in the rain, happy. That's right, Ken, yeah, it's a great job. Okay, so now I'd like to deliver some mail to Parliament Hill. Well, that's not on my route, but I can set you up with the truck. It's a great country. Okay, Gail, thank you. Pleasure. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas, Stefan. Merry Christmas, Rick. How are you? These are the Kyoto targets you're looking for? Wow. Merry Christmas, Jack. Well, Merry Christmas. It's from Stefan Dion. He feels guilty about abstaining. Oh, he should. Hello, Jim. How are you? Merry Christmas. I'm good. I'm good. Merry Christmas to you. Rick. Not sure who it's from. Big city mayor, maybe. Ooh. It's the stamp that makes it special. That's yourself. Well, Merry Christmas. And I've got something for you. Okay. All right. He's not coming back, is he? 